So in this video I'm going to take a look at the second stage in the three-stage process of the industrial production of glucose and fructose from starch. And if you remember in the first video we saw that alpha amylase hydrolyzed starch, a long polysaccharide, to oligosaccharides. And if you remember, a ligo means a few. So this is chains of a few sugars or a few glucose units. These we can show like this. And in this case, once again, we're going to add an enzyme. This time we're going to add glucoamylase. And if you remember, an amylase hydrolyzes saccharides, so splits them up by adding water. And in this case, the enzyme glucoamylase produces glucose. But this is glucose with a difference. This is not a chain of carbon atoms but a ring made up of carbon atoms and oxygen. So the glucose in this case looks like this. And you can see the oxygen still has two bonds, but not a double bond. It has one bond with one carbon and one bond with another carbon. You can also see that there's a sort of arm, if you want, on the ring here. And so the structure, this isomer of glucose, is a ring structure. So that's basically stage two in the three step process of the industrial production of glucose and fructose from starch.